I'm going to pray three things. Firstly, I will continue to praise the Lord uh, with adoration for his name. Afterwards, since today is Valentine's Day, we will pray for relationships in our church and the ultimate relationship of all, our union with the Messiah, our Lord Yeshua, Jesus, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Finally, we will pray uh, with the Chinese New Year approaching, we will pray for the persecuted church in China and pray especially for the organisation of Open Doors. Let us pray. We praise you, Lord, that you have revealed yourself to us through creation, through your prophets of old, but ultimately and fully through your Son, the Lord Jesus. We are so grateful that while we were far off, far from you, you drew us near and opened our eyes and gave us life and sight and love for you. Praise be your name for calling us your children and inviting us into relationship with you. We never saw fit to honour you, but you saw fit to offer us forgiveness and hope and relationship with you. Not because of what we did, but because you are love, you are life, and you wanted us to know you. Amen. Today is Valentine's Day and we praise you for teaching us of love, of what love really is. Not as the world sees it. It's not a matter of flowers. It's not even a matter of I love you, even though that helps. But it is of your son, his death on the cross for us. What love? By human reasoning, we should never have been offered such a love to be loved and forgiven. But you, Lord, loved us and gave us life and the promise of relationship with you forever. We do thank you for the many relationships we have in our church, married couples, grandparents to grandchildren, brother to brother, sister to sister. And we thank you that all these relationships come from you as a gift. May we as a church family express our love for each other with a sincere heart. And finally, uh, Lord, we ask you to help the ongoing gospel work in China. We thank you for the open doors and for their workers and, the, and their training of church pastors and youth pastors on how best to engage and disciple young people. We ask, Lord, despite increased restrictions by the government, for your mercy on the next generation of church in China, that the children will be able to learn about Jesus and deepen their faith in him. And we ask for a priority on biblical training, on discipleship and literature to enable the church to stand strong in the face of persecution. We pray all these things in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen.